Hello. I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. Thank you for joining me. This video tutorial is over the downward slap parry. Now, for the downward slap parry, we're going to start with our arm out in front of us turned palm up. And I'm just bringing this up, over, and down. It's finishing palm down right out in front of me here. Starting with my arm extended, and I'm bringing it in this way. Up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Just like that. It's not a real big movement of my arm at all. Now, really, it's just from the elbow here. My upper arm is staying nice and stable. Up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Just like that. Now, I want to be sure that I'm using my palm for this, this part of the hand here, and not my fingers here. I'm using my fingers. My fingers are real flexible, and this is not going to work real well. I'm not going to get a lot of power into it. I am not going to get a, a powerful redirect. If I'm using my palm that way, I'm going to get a much more powerful, much more effective slap pair. Let's have a look at it from the side. And I'm here, well extended, and here, in close. I'm stronger here in close, and this is the area I need to defend. If I'm out here, this is not real powerful at all, and something, again, this far away, I don't necessarily need to defend against. I'm here, and here's to bring it in close. Just like that. Now, we're going to take it a little bit faster and harder. Just up, over, and down. Up, and over. Up, and over. Imagine that somebody's reaching in, trying to grab you, and you're just going to slap the arm down and away so they can't get a hold. Now remember, nobody gets to put their hands on you without your permission. All we're doing is enforcing that rule. So what we're going to do here, after the slap parry, here is I'm going to step back, get into my wedge guard, and move away. I'm going to move out of reach. So we're here, slap it down, and move away. Yeah. Slap it down, and move away. Now again, from the side here, slap it down, wedge up, and move away. Slap it down, wedge up, and move away. Now, we also want to add a verbal defense to this. We're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to tell the other person, no. So here, no. Remember, we're not asking. We are telling. No. And move away just like that. All right. Nice, simple skill. Now let's have a look at it against a target. Sir. All right, have your partner just hold the blocker out right in front of your chest. We're going to start here, up, over, and down. Just find it and push down. I want to make sure that I'm using my palm for this and not my fingers. If I try to push with my fingers, it's just going to slip off. So make sure you're coming in close, you're using your palm to push down. Then we'll go just a little bit faster, slap it down like that, here and here. You're going to find that that simple little movement of your arm has a respectable amount of power. Then have your partner pull the blocker back and thrust in towards your chest. Slap it down as it comes in here and here. And then we're going to add no, and then we're going to move away. No. No. 
No. All right. Mr. Thompson, if you'd set the locker aside. Now, once that part of it is working well, you can reliably intercept that thrust in, then work with your partner, have them reach in and just try to grab you by the collar. We're going to slap the arm down and just move away. Go. No. No. That's right. And have them try to follow up. See, somebody who's tried to grab you once will try to grab you a second time. Moving away, disengaging at the end is real important. Thank you, Mr. Yes, sir. Again, with the downward slap parry, we are enforcing our basic rule of self-defense. No one gets to put their hands on you without your permission. We are not trying to injure anybody. We're not trying to damage them, and this is not going to do that. We are enforcing our boundaries, and that's a very important thing to do. Yes, it's going to sting. It's just a good reminder to that other person, keep your hands to yourself. If that, they reach out and that arm gets stung, that's just a good reminder for them. But again, you're not going to damage them. We're not trying to start a fight with anybody. We're not trying to hurt them. But we are going to make them keep their hands to themselves. And that was our downward slant parry. Thank you very much for joining me.